guy who's going to be very influential in this entire process, Senator Chuck Grassley, the Senate Judiciary Committee ranking member. I think he joins us on the phone right now. Senator, good to have you. I'm glad to be with you, Neil. Thank you for having me. Um, let me ask you, I mean, you haven't had much chance to digest a lot of the background and data on, on Ketanji Brown-Jackson, but what do you think? Well, we had her before a committee, before she went on the D.C. circuit. I voted against her, but this is a whole new ball game now. I think in, in a very general way, nobody should expect her to be like Gorsuch and Kavanaugh, that I got through the committee when I was chairman. She has tremendous academic credentials, without a doubt. I suppose what bothers some of us Republicans is that she's the favorite candidate of these left-wing dark money groups that are also advocating packing of the Supreme Court. And, uh, and, and what's, uh, those sorts of things bother us very much. But we're going to uh, be very uh, careful on making sure that she gets a, a fair hearing, uh, gets a, a good vetting, and uh, ask her the tough questions. And I can assure you that Republicans are going to handle this in a responsible way fair way, and we're not going to get down in the gutter like the Democrats did with Kavanaugh. Um, Senator, three of your Republican colleagues did vote for her in that, in that, that uh, appellate court uh, judgeship by Lindsey Graham and Susan Collins. Uh, Lisa Murkowski, I believe, was the third. Do you envision, your views notwithstanding, that, that she could garner some Republican votes? Well, I think you've got to wait until it's over, and you've got to take into consideration those votes were for her to be on the Circuit Court of Appeals, and it's a whole different thing being on the U.S. Supreme Court, and all you got to do is look at Bork got on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals uh, right. uh, uh, unanimously, and he was slaughtered uh, when he was nominated for the Supreme Court. Do you think, Senator, switching gears to this ongoing in a story out of Ukraine and how it's faring, I mean, do you know of any reports, you don't have to spill secrets, sir, but that uh, Vladimir Putin is, is frustrated with the, the, the pace of how it's going and increasingly alienated in, in Russia? Uh, there were protests yesterday, 1,800 protesting. They were all locked up. We don't know what's happened to them, uh, but that he's firing off at people, seems to be short-tempered. Any, any thoughts on that? Well, I, I can't speak to that uh, at all, and even if it was secure information, I haven't been in any of those discussions, even if I couldn't talk about them. So all I can say is, here's a person that is acting uh, obviously on his own or a few uh, uh, clicks around him. This isn't something that the Russian people are demanding, that they're fearful of Ukraine uh, invading them. Uh, he's on an eagle trip. And he's going to continue doing that because he wants to reestablish the Soviet Union. And we're enriching him with a $100 uh, oil barrel at the same time that our president is shutting down our energy industry, like the XL pipeline, not drilling on, on uh, public lands or drilling on the north slope of Alaska or the Mexican uh, uh, border and uh, Gulf of Mexico and all those things, and even telling the banks not to uh, to uh, loan to energy companies, and we're paying four and a half, uh, four dollars for gas. Uh, it's just ridiculous that we would enrich uh, 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 the Russian Treasury and the uh, President Putin and uh, and pay uh, charge the consumer this because of the stupid energy policies of our president. All right, Senator Grassley, very good catching up with you on uh, these two big issues uh, today. We'll see how some of them sort out. Chuck Grassley is going to play a very crucial role as the ranking member on the Senate Judiciary Committee. That